All right, guys, today we're ranking every single Megadeth song. I recently listened to all of them for one of my videos, the Megadeth vs. Metallic video. So if you want to check that out, here is the link. So we're going to go from triple S to F. You know, S tier means it's a great song, but there's kind of tiers of that, right? You know, there's triple S songs, S tier songs, double S songs. So it kind of gives a way to categorize the best Megadeth songs. There's quite a lot, quite a lot of good ones. I'm not going to waste your time. There's a lot to get through. Let's just get on with it. Going in alphabetical order, every single track. Let's do this. All right. So starting off, we have 1000 times goodbye. Goodbye, 1000 times goodbye. You know, I actually think it's a pretty good song kind of has some a little bit of a weirdness to it i do like the kind of interspersed messages with the answering machine messages it's kind of cool it's like almost like a little bit like emo midwest emo influence you know what i mean like but yeah a good song good riffs i like the chorus i think i'm gonna put this uh this might be a little controversial i'm gonna put this solidly into a tier a thousand times goodbye a tier the next song 13 off the album 13 you know, definitely, it's not my favorite song off that album, but it's okay. You know, this is sort of like a mid-tier Megadeth song for sure. So I'm just going to put this in B tier. Next up, we have the song 1320. You know, song about drag racing. 1320, that's how many feet are in a quarter mile. So when you go down the drag strip, you know, it's 1320 feet. Pretty good track. Kind of reminds me of 502 in a way. You know, it's about fast cars. Good riffs. I'm going to put this, uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty solid uh, song. One of my favorites off Endgame. So I'm going to put this in A tier. Now, 44 minutes. So this song off Endgame as well is about the LA shootout that happened in the mid-90s. I think that shootout was the inspiration for the movie Heat. Could be wrong, though. Uh, yeah, good track. I do like the verses with the... the da -da 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 uh, more favorite Megadeth songs off Endgame. Uh, this might be a little bit controversial, but I'm actually going to put this in S tier. I think 44 Minutes is an S tier track. So let's just put that there. Pull over, shithead. It's the cops. 502. 502 off so far. So good. So what? Pretty good. Not my favorite off of that album, but uh, not my least favorite. 502 with the, with the sirens going. It's kind of a cool ending. I think I put this uh, solidly in uh, A tier. I think it'll be an A-tier song. And I'll go by and I'll make these smaller as we go along and as more stuff fills in because we got, I think, over 180 songs to do. So let's keep going here. Next up, off of Hidden Treasures, we have 99 Ways to Die. I think this song was made for a movie. Could be wrong. However, it doesn't matter. This song is an absolute banger. Great track. Not ready to see you yet. 99 Ways to Die. Sick riffs. Yeah, you know what? I think this is another uh, S tier song, to be completely honest with you guys. 99 Ways to Die, we'll put that in S. Now, A Secret Place. There's a secret place I like to go. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs of Cryptic Writings. I like the sort of, would you say like Middle Eastern vibes in the intro, I guess? Cool track, you know, a little bit more of a vibe, kind of very euthanasia-esque, right? I think it's pretty good, actually. This is one of my favorite songs off of Youth and or, uh, Cryptic Writing. So, you know what, man? I think I'm feeling another S here, actually. We're starting off pretty strong here. No real no real stinkers right off the bat. So, I'll just do these both at the same time. So, we have a Tu Le Monde off Euthanasia. And then we also have a Tu Le Monde, which I call just version 2, which is on United Abominations, which has uh, the singer from Lacuna Coil on it. Now, the one with Lacuna Coil, I'm actually not a big of a fan of as the other one so i'm actually gonna put this in might even be c tier like i'm pretty much never gonna listen to it i'd rather just listen to the original to be completely honest and i think the original definitely is one of megadeth's stronger softer songs you know the addition of french in the chorus as a hook is very cool you don't really ever hear that and even you know english speakers who don't speak a lick of french can kind of sing along to it because it's easy to sing to the world right to all my friends so i'm gonna put the Original Tu Le Monde from Euthanasia in double S tier, and the Tu Le Monde in C with the other one. Uh, this is going to be a long one, boys. All right. I'm addicted. Addicted to chaos. One of the cooler riffs off Euthanasia. One of the slower ones. You know, if you watch this channel before, you know I'm a huge Euthanasia fan. Uh, not my favorite song off Euthanasia, but I still think it's pretty good. I'm going to put this in A tier. 
I do really like that drum intro. The drum intro is cool. All right, up next now we have Almost Honest off Cryptic Writings. Well, I lied just a little when I said I need you. Kind of a cool song off Cryptic, off Cryptic Writings. Not my favorite for sure. Has uh, kind of a whack chorus, but I do like the verses. Uh, I'm going to put this in C tier, actually. Almost Honest will be C tier. Definitely not my favorite track. All right, so now we have off United Abominations, we have America Stan. Now, I never hear anybody talk about the song, but I actually think it's one of my favorite Megadeth tracks, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I think this is a great track. Uh, I like the riffs that, you know. We are just a war away from America Stan when God versus God, the undoing of man. Yeah, pretty cool track. Honestly, I'm gonna put this in A tier. You know, I'll jam this quite often. I like it. It's pretty good. Now we have the first of Megadeth's covers, Anarchy in the UK, off of So Far So Good. So what? Uh, honestly, I'm really, for the most part, I'm not a big fan of all Megadeth covers. I don't know. It's okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm pretty much will, like, never listen to this. Like, it's not a bad cover, and I don't hate the song, but I'm pretty much never going to listen to this. So that's going to go in D tier. All right, so now we have Angry Again off hidden treasures engaged in crime i grasp my throat enraged my mind starts to smoke yeah this is uh, i think this may be my mm, maybe not my favorite song off hidden treasures but another absolute banger for sure uh love this track this is gonna go uh maybe a little bit uh controversial but i'm going double s for angry again for sure love that track so now we have first song off countdown to extinction architecture of aggression Praise your architecture of aggression. Wow. Pretty good song. Not my favorite. The first riff is kind of cool. It sounds like it's going to be way heavier than it kind of turns out to be. It's all right. I'm going to give this uh, actually a B tier. I'm gonna give, I think this is a B tier track. Put this in B right under 13. Yeah. Well, you know what? 13 and then architecture of aggression. Mm, no, we're going to put this in A. <laughs> if I look at it that way, you know what? I listened to 13 or, you know, architecture of regression. So we're gonna go with that. Up next, again, off Countdown to Extinction, we have Ashes in Your Mouth. Sweet taste of vindication. Well, it turns to ashes in your mouth. Oh, uh, easy. You know, I think this is one of Megadeth's best songs for sure. You know, you could have put this on Rust in Peace. And I don't think anyone would complain, to be completely honest. So this will be the first triple S for Ashes in Your Mouth. And I'm not going to hear anything else about it. That is a triple S song easily. All right. So now we have back in the day off the first song off. The system has failed. You know, it was on Duck Dodgers. I think it's a pretty banger song. I like the, you know, the whoa. Oh, oh. So, you know what? Actually, I think this is a S tier song in Megadeth's catalog for sure. Yeah, I definitely think this is an S tier song back in the day going straight to S tier. So now we have the first song off P Cells, Bad Omen. Obey! Yeah, uh, I think the song's pure banger. Intro sick, really evil sounding, great track. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this in double S. Bad Omen, we're gonna be a double S track here for sure. Here we have Beginning of Sorrow. A little bit of some, uh, you know, Dave trying to get a little bit more real with the lyrics, I guess. I don't know, you know, not a big fan. A lot of uh, the singing, you know, Dave's voice is sounding pretty haggard on Super Collider. So I'm going to put this in D tier. So now we have Bite the Hand off Endgame. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is a pretty decent track. You know, not my favorite off Endgame, but it's all right. Cool chorus. Uh, we're going to go B tier for Bite the Hand. So now we're going to go Black Curtains. I think I spelled curtains wrong. Whatever, I don't care. Black Curtains. Never read day. Okay, track. Not not my favorite off uh, Euthanasia. Kind of cool moment, so I'm going to go B tier for Black Curtains. Run, So now off of 13, we have Black Swan. Right? 13, I think? Yes. Just like a churchyard shadow. Now we got Black Swan off of 13. I'm pretty sure this was one of the songs for this album that was like a demo from a long time ago. Could be wrong. I think I remember back in the day on my iPad, I had a demo of this song somehow. Uh, pretty good. Not my favorite. Chorus is okay. You know, this is just like a B tier, kind of like mid tier Megadeth track for sure. All right. So Blackmail the Universe. Now we're talking Blackmail the Universe off uh, The System Has Failed. Love this track. What a great intro to the album. 
heavy, it's fast. <laughs> the White House getting shot down. He has the word line, I read white and blew it in it. Excellent track. I, I really enjoy this. I am going to go, might be a little bit controversial, but you know what? F it's my video. F, F it. Going to go with double S tier for uh, Blackmail the Universe. All right, so now we have Bless Be the Dead off United Abominations. Yeah, I think this is probably the weakest track off of United Abominations, in my opinion. I don't know. It just, just doesn't hit me the way some of the other kind of more other goofy tracks does. I'm going to put this in D tier. See, I'm not just all United Abominations fanboy, I promise you. All right, so now we have off of Euthanasia, Blood of Heroes. Still alive, blood of heroes never die. Yeah, this is a banger. One of my favorites off Euthanasia for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. This is a really great track. I'm going to put this in double S tier. Love that kind of like acoustic intro. When all along the road, all the bodies left behind. Yeah. Uh, pretty good track. I like how the way it starts off. The chorus is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to put this in A tier. I think it's a pretty good song. So now we have the first song off of Risk, Breadline. I know some people like this song, but to me, and you know, I even sort of changed my opinion on Risk as I went back and listened to it. Again, you can check out that video. But uh, I don't know, this song just lacks any balls to it. Like there's just, just nothing. It's just sort of like soft pop rock my big problem with when megadeth does it it's not like the songs are written badly it's just that you need a vocalist who is strong enough to carry a song like this whereas dave mustaine you know i enjoy his singing but he's not a very strong vocalist in the sense that only his vocals can carry a song if that makes any sense to me so you know i'm sorry to all the breadline fans but we're gonna go in d tier for me so now we have breakpoint which is off of hidden treasures I think I'm doing this all off by memory. So let me, you know, let me just look this up really quick. Just to make sure. Yeah. Breakpoint. Yeah. Off Hidden Treasures. It's an okay track. Pushing me to a break point. I don't know. It's okay. Not my favorite track. I'm actually going to go with like C tier for this one. So now we have Built for War, which is off Super Collider. Uh, you know, I thought this was actually a pretty decent song off Super Collider. Definitely, you know, not my favorite of all Megadeth's catalog for sure, but I thought it was okay. I'm going to go in B tier for this. Bullet to the Brain. Yeah, Bullet to the Brain, first song off Dystopia here. I like the acoustic intro. It's very dark. Chorus is okay. You know, this is just a, a B tier song for me. Pretty, pretty average. So now we have the song Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Cause it feels so good. Pretty cheesy, to be honest. Uh, yeah, C tier. It's okay. Kind of some cool riffs. Eh. All right. So now we have burning bridges off. The world needs a hero. If you took your own direction. Uh, yeah. You know what? I th actually, I think the world needs a hero is very slept on and gets way too much hate for what it is. Uh, I think it's this is actually a pretty decent track. I am going to go. A tier for Burning Bridges. Burnt Ice off United Abominations. His cause of death, high speed on Burnt Ice. Or I think that's, <laughs> let's go something like that. I don't know, like one of the weaker tracks off of United Abominations for sure. The intro is kind of cool with like the coughing and the little solo there, but it, the rest of the song just kind of loses me. I'm actually going to put this in D tier. All right, so off of... Oh my god, I'm already losing it, and I'm, not, I'm just in the seas. Uh, we have Captive Honor off of Countdown to Extinction. The whole song just kind of feels like an intro to the sort of end part, but it doesn't really live up to the, you know, sort of my expectations. Sort of like this big build the whole time with the sort of skits, you know, Life! What do you mean, life? I ain't got a life! And then just kind of goes to Captive Honor. Yeah, you know what? Uh, actually, it's okay, and then I'm thinking more about it. I think it's a B-tier track. Celebutant. Yeah, kind of a cool track. I think, is this the first song off the Sick, the Dying, and the Dead? Maybe. Anyways. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool. It almost kind of reminds me of something that maybe you would have heard off, like, the first album, to be honest. Kind of has that kind of riffing style. Pretty cool. Pretty fast. Interesting name. You know what? I'm going to give this a B tier. It's a B tier track for me. I think we're going to be running out of space on B tier here soon, but uh, I'll fix that when we get to that. So now we have the first song off Killing Is My Business, Chosen Ones. It's a pretty good track. Not my favorite off of uh, Killing Is My Business for sure. I'm just going to go with B tier. You know, I never really come back to Chosen Ones. Cold, cold sweat off of Super Collider. I think it's the last song on Super Collider. Yeah, it's an okay song. 
Just again, just sort of like mid-tier Megadeth. I'm gonna put this in a C tier, actually. You know, you think I'm ever gonna come back and listen to that kind of on my own? No, but if it ever comes on, I'm not gonna skip it, if that makes sense. So now we have Conquer or Die, which was off of Dystopia, if I remember. You know, one of the few Megadeth instrumental tracks. I love the sort of uh, flamenco Spanish guitar, classic guitar that Kiko does on this. But, you know, it's an instrumental, right? So I'm not going to give it more than an A for an instrumental. Pretty good, though. So now we got Countdown to Extinction off of Countdown to Extinction. Great song. Cool message. You know, how, do you ever really hear about hunts, hunting problems, animal rights in songs ever? Like, no. Megadeth was doing this in, like, 1991. Good track. Um cool harmonies cool bass playing good melodies i think this is uh actually i'm gonna put this in s for me personally i i, I enjoy this song quite a bit that's an s tier track for me all right so off of risk we have crush him crush crush him you know when i was when i was like 13 years old i hated this song but uh going back and listening to to risk you know what it wasn't the worst actually would i really choose to listen to this on my own no, but the kind of disco kind of thing is kind of cool. I think this is a solid B-tier track from Megadeth. So off of Dystopia, we have Dance in the Rain. No, sorry, excuse me. It's off of Super Collider. Uh, this is probably actually when I listen to Super Collider again. This is one of my favorite tracks on it. Uh, I do kind of enjoy when Dave does the more talking kind of singing. And I like the intro. It's a nice build-up. I think it's actually a pretty good track. I'm actually going to put this in A-tier probably the only super collider song in a tier well no maybe not pretty good track all right first song off rust in peace dawn patrol you know the one cool bass line sets a great mood it's like a nice little break in the album before the absolute onslaught of the last song rust in peace polaris you know what it's a pretty cool track but can you really rate it into loot any higher than s no it's an s tier song just for the fact that it's in Rust in Peace and comes when it does. Maybe if it was on like a different album, it wouldn't be an S, but because it is where it is on Rust in Peace, it gets an S. Uh, Deadly Nightshade off 13. I think this is another one of those ones that I had a demo of. I could be wrong again, but uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm going to go with C tier for Deadly Nightshade. No living thing survives! Death from within. Pretty good track, honestly. I really think that Megadeth tuning down to D standard just did so much wonders for how heavy these tracks sound. Works well with Dave's voice. Love the chorus in this track. Uh, yeah, you know what? This might be uh, a little bit weird, but I'm going to put this in uh, S tier, actually. Death From Within, an S tier Megadeth track. Can you believe that? Delivering the Goods, the latest Megadeth track released last year, 2023. I thought it was pretty good. Definitely kind of average, though. I don't know. Like... I listened to it and just sort of forgot about it. Just kind of uh, mid, yeah, it's just mid. I don't know. It kind of kind of sad after what come after the sick, the dead, the dying. So I'm gonna put this in C tier. All right, now we have Devil's Island. Is this the best intro in Megadeth history? I absolutely love the tapping intro. You know, kind of cool track about Devil's Island. That's where Napoleon was sent. You know, it's a prison island. Cool track. Uh, yeah, again, love the intro. Rest of the song, you know, it's okay. I, I don't know. Devil's Island! Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. A, a tier. Not my favorite song off P Cells. But the intro is absolutely fantastic. So now we got Diadems off of Hidden Treasures. Uh, not my favorite track. One of my actually, like, probably least favorite tracks uh, in the Megadeth catalog. You know, Hidden Treasures is such a weird mixed bag of good songs, bad songs. I don't know, you know what? I'm just gonna go re-listen to this really quick. It's been such a long time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I listened to that. It was okay. I don't know. C tier to me. The intro is kind of cool. There's some cool riffs, but it's just sort of lacking something. I don't know, like it doesn't have that hook to bring me in like, you know, Angry Again or 99 Ways to Die or even like Go to Hell does on that album. Again, I think it was written for a movie. So maybe that affects, you know, I guess, what they write maybe I, I, well, anyways whatever c tier dialect to chaos off of endgame absolutely sick intro song sick instrumental great stuff i think it was in an nhl game so just think how many young kids like heard megadeth for the first time uh we're going s tier s tier for that for sure all right next one we have die dead enough off the system has failed Ooh, I can't punch hard enough, and I can't shoot straight enough. Pretty good track. Uh, I like the chorus. Could take, you know, take or leave the rest of the song, to be honest. Where do I put this here? I, I don't know, man. Let me just take a look at some of the other things we got here. 
Let me just. Yeah, you know what? This is a this is a B tier song. It's okay. Like the chorus. Rest of the song is just kind of mid though. All right, disconnect. This guy here mentioned on one of my recent community posts, which you should check out if you have not already, that disconnect was one of the most underrated Megadeth songs, and I totally, completely agree. I love this song. I love the intro riff. It's got a nice groove the whole time. Cool, uh, cool chorus. You know, turn off, turn off your conscience. Leave the word outside. Nothing I can ever make you feel. Cool bridge with a nice solo. I mean, you know what? I'm actually going to put this in S tier. I actually think, yeah, S tier song. Good stuff. Definitely highly underrated. Again, Off the World Needs a Hero. Underrated as album for sure. Uh, now we have Dogs of Chernobyl off the sick, the dead, and the dying. You always left me behind like one of the dogs of Chernobyl. I think that's how that goes. I thought it was okay, but I listened to it the first time for the review that I did. I thought it was all right. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It never caught my attention, though, so I'm going to go C tier for Dogs of Chernobyl. So next off of Super Collider, we have Don't Turn Your Back. Pretty generic song, honestly. The chorus is pretty generic. You know, he uses the lines, I wish I may, I wish I might. I don't know. Could this be the first F? Could it be? E yeah. I'm going to put this in F. We need some F songs here, because you know what? I'm never going to listen to this on my own time. Just, you know... Just pretty big stinking stinker track, to be honest. So now we have Dread and the Fugitive Mind off of Cryptic Writing. The world needs a hero, so yeah. Let me introduce myself. I'm a social disease. Yeah, pretty good track. Cool rhythms. Uh, chorus is cool again. You know, what if I do get caught? Kind of reminds me of like Train of Consequences. Almost seems like it's sort of the same. Talking about the same character, I guess, maybe. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good track. I'm going to put this in a tier all right we got the title track off of dystopia dystopia you know it's it's quite clear that they were trying to go for like a hangar 18 type of vibe with this song and yeah it worked great track i love it i actually think this is an s tier song cool riffs again like just tuning down helps them so much yeah s tier song for sure love it uh now we have ecstasy off of risk try to hide da, 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 da. again same excuse me Again, you know, it's kind of just the same problem I had with Breadline. Like, Dave just needs to be a better singer to do this type of music, really. D tier. Again, like, that's not to say I don't like Dave's singing voice, but, you know, there are stronger singers who might have done better on this track. All right, so off of Euthanasia now, again, we have Legion Fields. Ah, uh, yeah, one of my favorite songs. I love the way it starts. Just... Uh, great track, actually. You know what? I really enjoy this song. I'm going to put this in A tier. What is it feeling? Burning out my eyes. Oh, no. You know what? It's S. It's an S tier song. The more I think about it, the more I realize it's, it's an S tier song. For sure. Love it. All right. So now we have the title track off of Endgame. Endgame. Attention. Attention. This way to the camps. A little bit of a, you know, when you think about it, a little bit of a prophetic song, maybe <laughs> you could say. Pretty cool. I woke up in a black FEMA box. Yeah, uh, pretty good. I'm going to go B, actually. I'm going to go B for this song. All right. Uh, Family Tree off of Euthanasia. One of maybe, is this Megadeth's most catchy chorus? I think it might be, to be completely honest. Let me show you how i love you yeah i really like this song the intro sounds very cool it has this great sort of majestic vibe to it but it's like a very dark song lyrically so it's a nice contrast and you know you can sort of start singing the song without realizing really what it's about and all of a sudden you're singing you know a song about you know familial abuse let's just put it like that you know <laughs> i guess you know great track i love it uh excellent track i'm gonna put this in double s actually to be honest along with Blood of Heroes. So now we have Fast Lane, which was off of Super Collider? No, 13, right? Yeah, 13. Fast Lane, I'm driving insane. I think it's a fast song, but just because it's fast and heavy doesn't mean it's good. I, you know, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm not really going to listen to this on my own, really, to be honest. I'm going to put this in C tier. I'll just uh, slot it in right here, right under Deadly Nightshade. Uh, Fatal Illusion song about uh you know a reanimated monster coming back to life and killing everybody what's not to love song rips i love the heartbeat monitor that you know goes flatline like as the fast riff comes in cool song one of my favorites off dystopia for sure i'm gonna go with uh s tier 
So now we have FFF, or Fight for Freedom, off of Cryptic Writings. Is it weird to say I like the lyrics to Bullprick better? The Bullprick one is just like more attitude. I, I think that was like a demo version of the song or something like that. Yeah, Fight for Freedom, it's okay. Uh, I don't know. Despite being one of the faster songs, it's kind of like too punky. I'm not really coming back to it. Honestly, bro, yeah, I'm going to put this in in C tier. All right, off Rust in Peace, we now have five magics. And if any of you are watching my you know, deep dives on songs. I'll give you a little, uh, little secret info. Five Magics will be the next Rust of Peace song that I do. Obviously, uh, easy triple S. Uh, the song absolutely slaps. Love the intro. I love the lyrics, you know. Give me sorcery. Give me wizardry. Thermatology. Great riffs. Maniacal solo. Yeah, excellent track. Triple S for sure. Absolutely. Foreclosure of a Dream off of Countdown to Extinction, a song that only seems to be getting more relevant by the day, you know, especially if you live in Canada or in a place in the States that's having like a cost of living crisis. But, you know, the song is okay. The intro's cool. The, you know, down, down. I don't know. This song just feels like it's lacking something to me. One of probably one of my least favorite off of Countdown to Extinction. I will go with C tier for this track. So now off dystopia, we have foreign policy. Foreign policy! Foreign policy! This one sounds like it could have been off the system has failed, but I don't know. It doesn't hit me as hard as lots of those other songs do. Not my favorite off dystopia for sure. I'm going to go with uh, C tier for this guy. So now we have the song Forget to Remember. Uh, pretty, you know, Forget to Remember off Super Collider. It's a little, it's more slower paced song. I'm not a big fan of the more like, bluesy Megadeth songs, to be completely honest. Uh, you know... I don't know. Would I ever go and listen to this on my own time? Probably not. So, I, you know what? I'm going to put this in F tier. All right. Off of United Abominations, we have Gears of War. Gears of War. Uh, cool track. Uh, Gears of War. Ethnic cleansing with no surrendering. That's okay. Pretty cool track. Yeah, I would listen to this all the time while playing Gears of War, so that probably skews my opinion of it. But uh, I actually think it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go with A tier for it. So now we have the song off Hidden Treasures, Go to Hell. Funny story. This is how the guitarist and myself and my band met. He was actually humming, humming Go to Hell while we were at work together. And I was like, bro, is that Go to Hell by Mega? He's like, bro, yes, it is. And then, yeah, I, I, we've just been in a band ever since. Really like this track. Maybe one of Megadeth's heaviest songs ever. Great lyrics. You know, of course, it's copying, you know, still has like the Inner Salmon things. But it's just like a normal nursery story, bedtime, whatever, right? Double S. Love Go to Hell. Great track. Uh, off P Cells, we have Good Morning Black Friday. Incredibly influential song. You know, you gotta admit, it, probably one of the influences for death metal, you know, lyrically as well. It's evil, it's maniacal, it's progressive. I love the riffs. Uh, yeah, great song. Uh, I'm gonna put this in triple S, to be completely honest. Absolute banger of a track. All right, so now we got Guns, Drugs, and Money off of 13. I don't know. I feel like this song should be better, but it's just not. I, I don't know. It's guns, drugs, and money. The chorus is just very underwhelming, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to go with C tier for this guy. Hanger 18. Uh, what do I really need to say about this track? Banger. Great solos. Catchy lyrics. You know it's a triple S. I, I don't need to tell you. you. You know it's triple S. So then off of Cryptic Writings again, we have Have Cool Will Travel. Yeah, I got to go B tier. B tier for this track. It's all right. All right, Head Crusher off of Endgame. The song that when it was released before Endgame, like everyone was losing their minds, like, holy shit, this is such a sick song. Oh my God. Uh, crazy riffs, you know, <laughs> good lyrics. Just just a, so just a heavy metal song about the ancient torture device. What's, what's not to love? Double S. Double S tier. So now we got High Speed Dirt off of Countdown to Extinction. High Speed Dirt! It's like one of these like kind of fast, rocky thrash songs. Would you even call this thrash? It's okay. It's about uh, skydiving. Pretty cool track. Not my favorite off Countdown to Extinction though. So it's good. Uh, you know, it's going to go B tier for me. I think this is also in Brutal Legend. Shout out to that game. If you know, you know. Holy Wars, the punishment do. I mean, triple S. Do you really need to say anything? This is like the Megadeth song. Pretty sure they played every single live show. Great track. What? <laughs> go, go see my slam cover of it. Uh, yeah, triple S. Easily. All right. Another track off So Far, So Good, So What? Haven't been too many this far. Hook and Mouth. Song about the PMRRC. It's catchy. I like 
spelling out freedom, but relating with like lyrics, pretty cool. You know, you don't really hear that otherwise. Cool song. I like the drumming, the bass and vocals and drums verses are pretty sick. So I think Hook and Mouth is actually an S tier song for me. I enjoy Hook and Mouth a lot. How the story ends. Uh, off of Endgame. I was always mad that this wasn't the last song in the album. I mean, like, what are you thinking? It was second last. <laughs> like, what? Starts off with this bang. I like the chorus. Destroying every town. Let it up and burn it down. Pretty good song. I'm going to go uh, A tier, actually. I, I enjoy this song. It's a good track. All right. So now we have I Ain't Superstitious, the first of Megadeth's abhorrent covers they did on like the first two albums for whatever reason. I uh, hate this song. Never going to listen to it. It sucks. F. I Know Jack off This System Has Failed. Uh, yeah, one of the more unremarkable tracks off the system, has fa the system Has Failed. I've listened to that album a ton. And sitting here, I, like, I can't even recall how the song goes. So that's how you know it just doesn't stick out and wasn't my favorite. It's kind of a, you know, there's some misses on that album, despite I like it mostly. But uh, yeah, uh, D tier. Now we have I Thought I Knew It All off of Euthanasia. Maybe I don't like it. But I have no choice. Yeah, great song. Uh, cool rhythms. One of the better songs on Euthanasia for sure. I'm going to put this in A tier for me. Definitely enjoy that song quite a bit. I'm not skipping it if it comes on. I'll get even with you. Off of Cryptic Writings. You know, it's okay. There's a lot of sort of uh, Cryptic Writings kind of did Euthanasia style songs, but just not nearly as good as they were in Euthanasia. So... I don't know. I'm going to put this in C tier, to be honest. So now we have I'll Be There off a of Risk. I'll be there for you when the flames get high. Actually, when I listened to it uh, to Risk again, I actually thought this was pretty good. I was very surprised. I remember hating this song as well. Uh, but we're going to go uh, B tier. We'll go B tier for I'll Be There. And I'm just going to fit it in right here. In My Darkest Hour, uh, one of the first Megadeth ballads. Gets bonus points for the line, ha ha ha, bitch. Ah oh, yeah, double S, double S song. Really great track. Always a classic. Insomnia off of Risk. Insomnia, 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 Insomnia. I don't know if they're trying to make this song kind of insipid because like Insomnia is terrible and annoying, but uh, I, you know, this song is just a complete mess for me. F tier. So now we have into the lungs of hell the intro instrumental off of so far so good so what and of course we're going to go on the non remastered one that doesn't have those obnoxiously loud horns it's a pretty good intro uh, you know i like it not my favorite though junk a what do you live for off of the sick the dying and the dead i don't know yeah, this song was kind of just a miss for me i think it's just like that intro uh, voice clip it's just like all weird and all putting i'm just gonna Ugh. right off the bat we're gonna go with d tier for that oh my god Ah, my foot fell asleep. Oh my god. I was sitting on it, trying to get the proper posture. Ugh. All right, so now we got Kick the Chair off Dismas Failed. Kick the Chair! One of the heavier songs of that one. Obviously, everyone knows what Kick the Chair is about. One of the no-no words on YouTube. I'm going to go with the uh, A tier. Now we're going to go with Kill the King, which I think was one of the bonus tracks on one of the Megadeth compilations that came out in the mid-2000s. Pretty cool song. You know, dun 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 Kill the King. The King is dead. It's all right. So now we have the song Killing is My Business off of Killing is My Business. Pretty unhinged track. Love the riffing. Love the energy on this album. It's great. But again, you know, it's not my favorite off this album. I'm going to go with uh, A tier for this one. All right. So now we got Last Rites Love to Death. Love that uh, classical intro. Can't remember what Bach piece it is to start uh, or whatever classical piece absolutely unhinged riffing yeah this is an s tier song I, I quite enjoy this track one of my favorites off uh killing is my business for sure so now we have liar off so far so good so what liar i don't know pretty pretty mid track i don't really ever come back to the song or even listen to it uh you know i'm always gonna skip it if i'm going through this album really i'm gonna be a d tier this might be the oldest uh d tier song on this list so now we have Life in Hell. Life in Hell. Off the sick, the dying, and the dead. Uh, ripping track. Yeah, 
good good song i like this quite a bit actually this is going in a tier down the cross off of killing is my business now again like killing is a business pretty hit and miss for me i definitely recognize how important of an album is but a lot of these songs are sort of miss and this is one of the ones that's sort of like eh, okay b tier all right now we got uh losing my senses which is off the world needs a hero one man i don't know uh, let me listen to this one again I, I haven't heard this one in a long time too yeah, uh, that's exactly how I remember it. Mid, not very good. Losing my senses. We're gonna go with uh, D tier. This song kind of, kind of arse. All right, so off of Rest in Peace, now we got Lucretia. Just did a deep dive on that song. Go check it out. Triple S, absolutely. Most stuff off Rest in Peace, like you already know it's gonna be Triple S. So let me just put it up here. All right, so now we got Lying in State off of Dystopia. Another kind of ripping heavy track. Again, I can't stress how much the like the D standard tuning helps him here. But yeah, pretty good. You know, not my favorite though, so I'm gonna put it in B tier. Mary Jane off of So Far, So Good, So What. Almost like a little bit of like psychedelic trippiness to the song. And I really think Megadeth should have continued experimenting with that. You know, obviously it's about Mary Jane. <laughs> I actually think it's a great song. I love this track. I'm gonna go with double S tier for Mary Jane. Mastermind off of Cryptic Writings, I believe. Mastermind, I tell you what to think. I don't know. This, this song just always sort of missed for me. I'm going to go with D tier for this one. Like weird like voice effects and like weird voices that he does on this album too. I Or on this song too. I don't know. Kind of whack. All right. And the hundredth song on this list here so far. Fittingly, we have the mechanics. Now, of course, mechanics for Horsemen. You know, which song's better? To be honest, I kind of like the four Horsemen better. The lyrics are a little bit more serious. The lyrics for mechanics are just goofy AF, bruh. <laughs> to quote the kids. I don't know. It's so good. Uh, the riffing is cool. I love how fast it is. It's a nice change up for sure. But I'm just going to go with uh, B tier for the mechanics. All right. So we're 100 songs in. I'm just going to go through, reorganize this list. So when you guys get back, this will be all fixed up. I'm just going to get a drink and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Got myself some diet. A and W root beer, shit's gas. Let's keep going. We got like 80 more to do. So now we got Melt the Ice Away uh, off of Dystopia, the last song in Dystopia, if I remember. This song to me almost seems like hair metal mega death. Like, go back and listen to it, and you can just imagine like White Snake playing this song or something, but you know, obviously call it something else if it was White Snake. You know, I, despite that, I think it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to put this in actually a B tier. Thought that was actually pretty good. Millennium of the Bird. I think I spelled Millennium wrong too. I don't care. This is another one of those demo tracks, I think. Off of 13 or that that's what well, that was put on 13. I think it was a demo track from earlier in his career. Yeah, pretty good though. The Millennium of the Bird. Eh, I don't know. I, I, do, I just don't really enjoy it. There's probably a reason why it wasn't used for 20 years or whatever, how long it was. So we got Mission to Mars off the sick, the dying, and the dead. I don't know, just kind of like generic Megadeth. I listened to, you know, when I first listened, I was just like, yep, yeah, that, that was a Megadeth song. Kind of a cool topic, though. You don't really hear uh, bands talk about that, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to go with C tier for Mission to Mars. Now we got Moto Psycho off of The World Needs a Hero. Uh, I don't like the song at all. I really hate it. I think the guitar riff is very good. Moto Psycho. Everybody is a... I don't know. F tier. Don't like it. My kingdom off the system has failed. Yeah, it's kind of got a cool rhythm. It's like... I don't know. It's just kind of average, though. Cool little solo section. Yeah, it's just all right. Not... not no, not C tier. Not D tier. C tier. It's a C tier song. So now we got my last words off P-Cells. Uh, absolutely gorgeous intro with his BC Rich 10 string there. Uh, sick. Yeah. Great song, great lyrics, but Russian roulette, pounding drumming, great solos. Absolutely, yes, a triple S song for me, 100%. Never did! Off of 13, absolutely ripping track, sick riffs. I think that's an S tier song, to be honest, completely honest. Never Walk Alone, A Call to Arms off of United Abominations. Definitely not my favorite track. Again, you know, an acculturation. His channel's great, by the way, check it out. He calls this sort of like an alternative metal album. And it is, you know, definitely not one of my favorite songs. I don't, does, does, just doesn't work that well. I'm going to go with uh, D tier for this guy. Off of 13, we got New World Order. New World Order shall be shown, shall be shown. I definitely know this is one of the demos from back in the day. It's okay. I don't know. It's B tier. Not my favorite. I'm not going to skip it though. So now we got nice night, night stalkers off the sick, the dying and the dead has an iced tea feature on it. 
Sick riffs. Yeah, this is, uh, I think I'm gonna put this in A tier, honestly. I quite enjoyed this song when I listened to it. The ice feature, it's kind of just a novelty, though. You hear it once, you're like, okay, it doesn't, you know, didn't need to be there, but it's cool that it is, if you know what I mean. All right, so now we have the Alice Cooper cover, No More, Mr. Nice Guy. Again, I'm just not a big fan of Megadeth's covers, but this is kind of a cool one. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Kind of Dave's attitude kind of plays into it very good. I'm going to put this actually in C tier rather than D or F, which is normally where all the covers go. Of Mice and Men, off the system has failed. Back when I was just 17. Pretty good track, uh, to be fair. Uh, one of the cool songs, great chorus. Cool harmonies, good lyrics too. You know, this is a this is an A tier song for me. I enjoy Up Mice and Men quite a bit. Off the Edge, off of Super Collider. I've gone crazy, like I'm active on a stage. I don't know. Again, like lots of these songs on Super Collider. I've said it before earlier in this video. Said it at the reviews too. Like Dave singing is just very rough in this song, and the slow pace doesn't help it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Not a big fan. I'm gonna go with D tier. Paranoid, who asked for this cover? No, Nobody needed this. Uh, it'd be F tier, but I love that at the end where Nick Manza keeps playing. He's like, Nick, Nick! <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's always just charming to me. I, I like it. I don't know, whatever. D tier. Now, Paranoid, the song itself, of course, is like an S tier song, but you don't need more covers of Paranoid. Pay for Blood off United Abominations. Again, just another one of these sort of like mid, slower paced tracks that we're on. Uh, United Abominations, not a big fan. Obviously, the great songs are still to come in this list. I'm gonna go with C tier for Pay for Blood. P Cells, probably one of the best bass intros of all time. Cool lyrics. I love the attitude in the song. Great chorus. Yeah, this is a this is a triple S song easily for sure. Poison was the cure off of Rust in Peace. Probably my least favorite song off Rust in Peace, but it's still an absolutely amazing track. It's fast. It's ripping. The solos are great. The bass intro is very cool. The build up to the rest of the song is very cool. It just doesn't have that uh, kind of catchiness that all the other songs have. In addition to like how fast and crazy they are. So just an S tier for this guy. I know what a what a snub. Uh, yeah, Poison of Shadows off of Dystopia. Cool intro, uh, really cool verse rhythms like dun 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 with the, the 16 note chugs. Cool chorus, pretty good track. Actually, you know, it's a great track. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm gonna put this in A tier. Police Truck, uh, nice and short and sweet. So Lucy doesn't say, over say it's welcome, but I don't know, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just there. I was like, well, yeah, that was a song. D. Post American World, uh, very cool and interesting lyrics especially the fact that i think that album came out in what 20 yeah 2016 so you think about it now we're eight years on from that album and uh again one of these lyrics uh dave mustaine just kind of has some prophetic way in some of his lyrics thought the song was pretty good i'm gonna put this in b tier prince of darkness off of rush Th Rush off a of risk. Excuse me. This is one of those uh, Another another one of these songs that I absolutely hated when I was younger But when I went back and listened to risk if you ever listened to it You have to listen to the unremastered unremastered unremixed or whatever the original version It's just so much better. This is actually a great track lyrics are cool. I like the sort of breakdown in the middle Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna actually go with uh, a tier for this one problems off of hidden treasures this is another one I haven't listened in a long time. Let me just go listen to it really quick. Was this a cover song? I, truly, I don't know. It sounds like a cover song. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't like this song. We're gonna go with uh, F. Just completely average mid. Weird kind of singing vocals. It sounds like he's covering someone singing, so I'm gonna assume it's a cover, but we're gonna put it in F. All right, so now we have Promises off The World Needs a Hero. One of the cool ballads. I actually quite like the song. It's very sweet. You know, normally I kind of maybe would hate this, but uh, the unplugged live in Boston version of the song is great as well. I'm actually going to put this in A tier. Now slide it in right there. Perfect. So now we have Public Enemy number one off of 13. Public Enemy number one. I think it was one of the uh, singles that came up before this album. Yeah, it's all right. I don't know. Mid, mid track to me. I'm going to put this in C tier. Psychopathy. I know I spelt it wrong. I don't care. Just an intro to the next song, Killing Time. Eh, whatever. I just realized uh, I missed two songs because I was looking at the. I, I saw there was it. Psychopathy was the intro to Killing Time. I was like, did I even have Killing Time on here? So I missed two songs. My apologies. I was just too excited to get into the last rights left to death. Uh, Killing Time off of uh, the Sick, the Dying, and the Dead. It's okay. 
kind of cool rhythms again. I don't know. We're going to go with C tier for this one. And, and I also missed the best track on Super Collider, How Could I, which is uh, Kingmaker. Yeah, Kingmaker slaps. I was super surprised when I went back re-listening to Super Collider. I didn't listen to it when it first came out. So listen to it for the first time, I guess. You know, you always heard Super Collider sucks, but like this song comes on. I'm like, yeah, fucking song slaps. Excellent. So I'm going to put this in A tier for Kingmaker. My apologies, everyone, for missing those. So back to the actual list again. So now we have Psychotron off. <laughs> I spelt. Oh my god, man. I'm so sorry. There we go. Psychotron. Psychotron! Yeah, I actually. <laughs> one of my favorite songs off Countdown to Extinction. Uh, I think it's great. Papa Yonic! Inorganic! Not a cyborg! So I'm actually going to put this in uh, double S. This might be a little bit controversial, but I love Psychotron. Now we have rattlehead off of killing is my business the undisputed best song off killing is my business easily triple s for sure so now off the world needs a hero we have recipe for hate warhorse again pretty cool track i like the intro there's a lot of good parts and good stuff on the world needs a hero but some of these songs just i don't know they're too long yeah i don't know it's almost kind of like grungy megadeth it's kind of cool i don't know it's kind of boring though some cool sounds cool textures yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put this in C tier. Let me just slide it in here. All right, so now we have Reckoning Day off of Euthanasia. The opening track slaps. I love this song. Well, I like the way that you let me in. The way you look when the walls cave in. Yeah, S tier. Return to Hangar. This is, we have, this song's good. Great rhythms, cool solos. Obviously, an homage to Hangar 18. Yeah, pretty good track, honestly. I'm going to go A tier for this one. Rest in Peace Polaris. Maybe one of the first hard drum songs that I ever learned completely. Uh, yeah, this song absolutely slaps. Relentless, heavy, technical. Love the drum intro. Triple S, easy. So now we have Sacrifice. Yeah, another one of those just sort of uh, mid-tier tracks on the later albums. I thought it was like just okay. Again, it's like not, it's like not offensive by any means but it's not you know standing out to me i guess if that makes sense so we're gonna go c tier so now we have set the world a fire off of so far so good so what great track apparently this was like the first mega song written it's good all right it's what am i talking about amazing song but is it triple s eh, i don't know i'm gonna go with double s for set the world a fire seven uh, off risk, the song sounds like a J-Rock song. <laughs> like, not J-Rock from Trailer Park Boys, but uh, J-Rock like Japanese rock. I don't know. Uh, not a big fan. I'm gonna go with F. So anyway, Shadow of Death, just sort of one of those uh, kind of little instrumentals that uh, they like to do everyone, or in, not instrumentals, but intros they like to do for other longer songs. Pretty good. Uh, the intro kind of like verse talking with the effect on is kind of weird but the ending is pretty cool i don't know can you give it more than like a d though because it's just like an intro and i don't even enjoy half the intro yeah d she will one look in a lasting ass banger banger actually i'm gonna put this in double s i think this is the best song of crypto writings easily banger so now we have Silent Scorn off The World Needs a Hero. You know, just like uh, Shadow of Death, just like another intro track to Return to Hangar. D. Sin off of Cryptic Writings. I don't know, pretty uh, below average track to me, honestly, on Cryptic Writings. Definitely not my favorite. So we're gonna go D tier. All right, so now we got Skin on My Teeth, another song that was in Brutal Legend off of Countdown to Extinction. Cool track. Hanging on to life by the skin of my teeth. Yeah, pretty good song. I really like it. I'm going to go with uh, S tier. Just only single S for that. Sleepwalker off of United Abominations. Heavy, fast, catchy, great riffs, good lyrics. I'm going to put this actually in double S. Really like Sleepwalker. One of like the classic, uh, I guess, late era Megadeth songs you could say maybe. Soldier On off of The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead, I think. Yeah, I had to go look it up again. Definitely, uh, you know, off The Sick, The Dying, The Dead. Definitely sounds like the System Has Failed song, but I don't know. Never caught me. I'm just going to go with C tier for Soldier On. Sudden Death. Now, I'm pretty sure this was promo song for a Guitar Hero game. Song rips. Your sudden death from above! Yeah, uh, pretty good track. I'm going to put this pretty good... 
Great track. I don't know why I said it like that. S tier. Uh, Super Collider off of Super Collider. Just kind of a whack song. I'm on the high road. On the highway. I don't know. I've truly, I tried to like the song because I love being a contrarian, but I don't know. It's F tier for me. Sweating Bullets. Yeah, maybe one of the more goofy songs in Megadeth's catalog, but it still somehow works. Uh, I don't know how Dave does it. S tier. Symphony of Destruction, uh, Megadeth's probably biggest song, maybe the one the most recognized for. You know, I've tried to dislike this song because I've heard it so many times, but the more I think about it, it's just well-written song, catchy, cool riffs, the earth starts to rumble. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to put this in double S. Take No Prisoners, is this Megadeth's fastest and heaviest song? Uh, I think it probably is. The one time they played it live in that recording in uh, Rocket Rio or whatever, they play it like 20% faster. I just don't even know how to do that. Crazy. Triple S. Now we got Tears in a Vial off of The System Has Failed. Yeah, it's another one of those sort of like middling pace. It's okay. I don't know. It's like a C tier track for me. The Blackest Crow. I actually like this song. The build up's cool. Uh, the banjo, the use of banjo in this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put this in uh, B tier. I was actually pleasantly surprised. And for all the people who are wondering, yes, all the does got all the the songs got sorted into the T's. So if you're wondering if I missed a song, if you can actually pay attention throughout this whole thing, uh, this is where it'll be. The Conjuring. If you need the strength, the Conjuring. Yeah, uh, great track. Peace cells. Cool intro, cool riffs catchy don't summon the devil don't call the priest s tier or double s the disintegrators off of cryptic writings a black horse arrived on a black horse of steel it's kind of cool it's very lots of punk energy on this album which i guess makes sense because that's when he made md45 which is very punk but uh again like i don't know the song just never did anything to me like okay it's fast i guess but what's the point uh you know just because something's fast makes it good i guess whatever so now we have the doctor is calling off of risk. I hear the dog they're calling. It's okay. Didn't hate it as much as I thought it would be, but it's it's just okay. I'm gonna go with C. So now off of Dystopia, we have the Emperor. And I actually really, really like this track. Cool lyrics, you know, the Emperor's new clothes, blah blah blah. I know it's sort of like a generic saying, but uh, you know, who do you think you are? Some kind of superstar? <laughs> actually, it's a great track, actually. One of my favorites off of Dystopia, so I'm gonna put this in S. Now we have the ballad on Endgame, the hardest part of letting go, sealed with a kiss. Uh, I love the symphonic elements in the second part of it. The riffing is cool, but uh, I don't know. It just feels like it's just lacking. Like it needs that super catchy moment to it. So I don't know. It's okay. I'm just gonna go with B tier for this song. So now we have the Killing Road off of Euthanasia. Lost my mind. I lost all my money. I lost my life to the killing road. Absolute fu banger of a track. Triple S. And I'm not going to hear anything in the comments about it. That's a triple S song. So now we have the right to go insane off Endgame. You know, pretty good track. Again, I kind of like lots of these intros here. And the riffs are cool. And of course, you get Chris Broderick's amazing solos. Kind of a cool, like, verse riff. I don't know. But it's just... Like, the chorus just doesn't fit. I don't know. C tier for me. The scorpion off the system has failed. As I climb into your back, I will promise not to sting. I actually really enjoy this track. I think this is probably one of the best off of the system has failed. So this is going in S tier. The sick, the dying, and the dead. Obviously, the title track off that album. It's cool. It's fast. Bringing back that old Megadeth feel again. Yeah. Good track. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm going to go with uh, A tier. The Skull Beneath the Skin. Uh, another track off of Killing Is My Business. One of my favorites here. Another pretty good track. Again, like, I'm just not... Like, this album, I get how important it is, but it just doesn't hit for me the way it does for a lot of other people, I think. So, uh, this is just an A tier song for me. The Threat Is Real off of Dystopia. The Threat Is Real! Uh, yeah, first song off Dystopia... Another just kind of like fast paced banger, but uh, you know, it just doesn't grab me in the same way that some of the other newer ones do. So I'm just gonna go B tier. Uh, the title track off The World Needs a Hero, The World Needs a Hero. And this is an S tier song, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. <laughs> For the lines, Dave, the White House is calling. Tell them I'll call them back. 
Or just tell him anything. Just get him off my back. I mean, who who else is gonna give you lines like that in a song? Like, truly. S tier song for me. I enjoy it pretty much solely for that reason. Uh, these boots. Another one of these Megadeth covers. Terrible. Ugh. F tier. This day we fight off of Endgame. For this, I was chosen. Because I fear nothing. Pretty fast, ripping track. I enjoy it. Pretty good. I'm gonna put this in A tier. This planet's on fire off of the sick, the dying, and the dead. Uh, featuring Sammy Hagar. I know, me too. <laughs> it, it's just okay. This is, uh, this is a C tier song for me. Nice to see Sammy Hagar still doing stuff, I guess, besides being completely roasted on Family Guy or American Dad. Now we have This Is My Life off Countdown to Extinction. Da -na -na. Hey! Well, this was my life! This is uh, one of the more mid tracks off Countdown to Extinction, to be honest. Uh, B tier. Uh, so then we have the two time tracks off of Risk. I, I split them up. They're basically just two different tracks. For me, Time the Beginning, I love it. Maybe Dave's best singing, so this will be S tier for me. But then Time the End, it's just okay. I, I wish they would have sort of kept the melodies and the things they had going on Time in the Beginning and use it there. The Time in the End, I think, is just B tier for me. Tornado of Souls, you know this is going. Come on. So then we got Train of Consequences off of Euthanasia. Wasn't one of my favorite songs off this album, but the rhythm is kind of cool, and I love the super choked guitar sound. That's cool, but I guess, you know, realistically for me, it's just like an A tier song. I'm doing you a favor as I'm taking all your money. Trust off of Cryptic Writings. Great track, great chorus. Uh, what other songs do you really get where a band would redo them in Spanish? I guess people in South America loved it. Yeah, I, I, I like Trust quite a bit. I think this is actually an S tier song. So now we have Truth Be Told, Off System Has Failed. Truth Be Told, Hell, that's in the doorway. It's a B tier track. It's okay. Cool, catchy chorus, but the rest of the songs is kind of uh, mid, honestly. Now we have the title track off United Abominations, United Abominations. I actually really like this song. Cool lyrics, you know, cool riffs, uh, ominous intro. The UN is right, you can't be any more on than you are right now. The UN is a dud. Yeah, uh, I think this is actually going to be a double S song to me. May not like it, but this is my list, and I love that song. Use the Man, song about drug abuse. Pretty sure it's probably about lots of the grunge guys, maybe at the time. I don't know, I never looked it up. I thought it was just okay. Not my favorite song off Cryptic Writings, for sure. I'm gonna go D tier. Uh, now we got Victory off of Euthanasia. Uh, this is a, this is a triple S song. What other bands will go through and, you know, write a song using titles from their other tracks? That's still a ripping song. Great solos, great riffs, cool bass. Yeah, great song. Triple S for sure. I love that song. So now we got Vortex off of Cryptic Writings. Again, just some like weird vocal stuff on this uh, on this song. I don't know. It's just a C tier track for me. Wake Up Dead. Very cool song. Always reminded me of YYZ, but kind of with lyrics. Uh, love the solos, especially like the second section's riffs. Great song. Triple S for sure, easily. Wanderlust off of Risk. Actually, really like this song. This is one of Dave's better singing for sure. Fits right in his range. All my life I'm cutting around the road. I've got one less running through my bones or something like that. I'm going to go with uh, A tier. I really enjoyed this song when I went back and listened to Risk. So now we have Washington is Next. I actually made a video about the song and how prophetic the lyrics are. Like, it came out in 2007. But not only are the lyrics great, songwriting is good, it's catchy, riffs are cool, great solos. Triple S song for me, easily, for sure. All right, I'm getting tired of saying the same things. We the people, I'm just gonna write. <laughs> the people. <laughs> it's beat. I'm sorry, guys. It's been like three hours doing this now. We'll be back. Yeah, I don't know. When I listened to this, I was just like, yeah, yeah they'll be back again. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is like a C tier track for me. When, this is a, a song off uh, the world needs a hero. I actually think this is like a sleeper S tier song in Mega X catalog. Very cool track. Interesting intro. Interesting lyrics. Will you ever know when? Yeah, I, I actually really like it. S tier song, for sure. Whose life is it anyways? Well, whose is it, Dave? You know, probably yours, I guess. Oh my god, I was so sorry. <laughs> what am I saying? 
you know, like it's uh, off of 13. It's just kind of a song that's like full of teenage angst, but it's being written by like a 50 year old man at this point. So I, I don't know. I, I didn't really enjoy it. I'm going to go with D -t or C tier. Wrecker, one of the better tracks off of Super Collider, you know, about uh, some topics not really talked about, you know, home wrecking sort of things. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I'm going to go with B tier. Now we have You're Dead off United Abominations. One day I'll walk on your grave, even if you're buried at sea. It's a pretty good track. The chorus is okay. The rest of the song, I don't really enjoy that much at all. So can I really give it any higher than a C? No, I'm going to give it C. And mercifully, we're at the last song, Euthanasia. Uh, absolutely love this track. Cool rhythms. I love the lyrics. I also love the climax of the song, which is that last sort of chorus, refrain, whatever you want to call it. Mistaken you and me, we are the dead of all the world. So this is going to be triple S for me. Well, there you have it, you guys. Let me just move myself out of the way so you can see. This is uh, the final the final list. Take a good look. I'll zoom in through, through all the things here. But yeah, you know, looking at this, you know, at, at the stuff here, obviously, uh, it's rest in peace and euthanasia that have the most in triple s i think the lowest in the bottom here would be yeah i guess there's some uh, super collider in there a couple songs of risk yeah i think you know mostly what i've learned from this list here uh, let me move myself back up is that uh megadeth seems to have like a very nice spread of tracks you know Every song can have a, you know, every album probably has a few S tier songs, maybe one or two. Most albums probably have a stinker in there too. You know, it's human, right? They're humans writing music. Not everything's going to be the zingers to quote Primus. So anyways, thanks for guys for watching. If you made it through all this, if you made it through this whole list, just tell me where Euthanasia, the song ended up and leave that in the comments. So I know that you watched this far and yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Got a lot more coming. So make sure to leave a sub and yeah, thanks. Cheers, you guys.